Hello, 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 Gretchen McCarthy here, Pilates instructor, and today um, we're going to do a little bar workout um, against the wall. Okay, so it's just going to be a little bit of a leg series that I teach in bar class, but here we're going to do it against the wall. We're not going to have a bar to hold our balance on, so we really got to work our core muscles to stay balanced, and so all you're going to need is um, a little squishy ball to put in between your thighs. All right, and maybe your ankles. So let's get started and we're gonna head over against the wall, okay? Okay, so what I see a lot in bar class is a lot with like the booty out and not underneath your shoulders. Your box has completely lost its alignment, okay? So what I love about the wall is it makes us keep our shoulders right over our hips, okay? And that's the goal here. So you want to, let's get our legs parallel. We're going to put that ball right between our, our legs. So your heels are against the wall. Your booty's against the wall. And then your shoulder blades are against the wall. Ideally, I would like you to get your ribs against the wall too. But that's sort of a work in progress. So if you can't do it today, that's fine. You're trying to work towards that. All right? But the important thing is your tailbone and your shoulder blades should be on that wall. And you're trying to get the ribs as well. All right? So what I want you to do is you're going to lift your heels up, okay, and then press your heels into the wall. All right, so now heels, tailbone, ribs, shoulder blades should all be on that wall. And then you're just going to slide down the wall as you bend your knees. When you bend your knees here, again, those bony parts are against the wall. Nothing's changed, okay? So I don't want your booty away from the wall. I don't want your shoulders away from the wall. Stay on it. As you stay here, just squeeze the ball 10 times. 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now stay here and just give a little booty tuck, not overly so. Like I don't want you to tuck where your tailbone comes away from the wall. I want you to just tuck by curling the rib bones up to the, or the hip bones up to the ribs and then release. Again, curl and release. And as you curl, just give that ball a little squeeze. Good. Squeeze. All right, give me five more here, guys. Five, watch those shoulders, don't let them come away from the wall. Four, three, two, and one. Get the tailbone against the wall, and then we're gonna go down, down, up, up. Little movement, never straightening the legs. Keep in that bend. And down, down, up, up for six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it down and pulse it down for 10, nine, lift the arms and take them out to the sides, lift those elbows, I don't want droopy elbows, lift those elbows, four and three and two and one, you're going to go down, squeeze, little lift, down, squeeze, little lift for eight, Seven, stay on that wall. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up and release it. Good job. From here, we're going to take the ball in between our ankles. You're not going to be able to see my ankles, but I want you to put them in my ankles. Keep the ball on the floor and then give your legs a turnout from the hips. So turn out from the hips. The ball is in between your heels, okay? Again, get your bony point, points on the wall. You're gonna lift your heels up and try to get that ball against the wall as well. So as you lift your heels up, you have your tailbone, you have your ribs, you have your shoulders, all against the wall. And then you're gonna bend the knees, okay? The knees should be at a 45 degree angle forward. They're not out to the sides, 45. If you go out to the sides too much, notice what happens. Your low back starts to arch off the wall. You wanna keep that alignment, keep that long, rectangular posture, okay? Hands on the hips, and then I want you to just give a little booty tuck. Tuck the booty, don't let the tailbone come away from the floor, from the wall, and then release, and tuck, release. Now as you release, keep squeezing that ball, don't let that ball release. All right, six more, six, nice long neck. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. Get a little bit lower, keeping those points on the wall. And we're gonna just open up the knees an inch 
and release. Open and release for eight, seven, six. Squeeze the ball on the way out and the way in, the way out, the way in. Four, three, two, one. We're going to go down, down and up, up. Keep those knees bent. I'm working my mid range, almost my low range, like as low as I can, keeping my posture. So if you can get a little bit lower now, get a little bit lower for these last five. Four, keep those shoulder blades on the wall. Three, you should get into a little shake zone with those legs. Stay here and pulse it out, lift the arms. 10, nine, halo the arms over you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up, good job. All right, let's get rid of that ball, put it to the side. And I want you to get your legs wider than your shoulders now. You're gonna turn out at the hip. All right, so you have a turnout. And then I want you to bend your knees down. All right, get your booty, tailbone, all right? Get your ribs, get your shoulder blades on that wall. This one, you can do that, okay? Really try to get all those points. And then I want you to place the weight in the outer edge of your foot. Notice what happens when you do that. You should feel a little bit more outer hip. You also are working the inner thigh. I want you to lift your arms up so they're against the wall and then let them come forward a little bit so they're slightly in front of your shoulders. Lift your elbow so they don't dangle and then try to bend down a little bit more, not letting your booty come away from that wall. You also don't wanna let those knees roll forward, okay? Keep the weight on the outer, outer edge of the foot. Two down, two up. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Eight more guys, eight. Seven. Six, keep working all those postures. Five. Four. Keep scanning your body. You're never just doing motion. You're working with intention, right? You're working your alignment. One more time, you're gonna hold it down there, hold it. And then I want you to give a little lift and lower of the heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep those heels up on one. Walk in one inch and then lift your arms up, halo your head. Sink a little bit deeper. Hold here, both heels down and up, same time. Down, up, down, up. Eight and lift, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Take those arms in front of you, then take them on your hips and lower a little bit more. Ten pulses down. Ten, nine. Keep your body posture. Come on, that's what's important. Six, five, four, three, two. Sink deeper. Hold it and give me ten little tucks. Ten, nine. Keep your tailbone on the wall. Six, five, four, three, two. One and come on up. Good job, guys. Nice work. Shake it out. Give yourself a little stretch. Do what you need to do, but good work today. Hopefully you feel those legs. Remember, it's really important to keep your posture. It's all about alignment when you do things. It's all about intention. So if you can work mindfully, you don't need to work for hours. You can do quick little snippet workouts and you're going to see results. All right. So keep doing this. Have fun. Email me with any questions. All my information is below on the link. All right. Take care. Thanks so much. This is Gretchen McCarthy. Bye-bye.